Hey, it's Sovereign Student here, and today I'm going to be giving an introduction to PG Admin, which is an administration tool which I will use together with Postgres SQL to create databases and give an introduction to SQL. So, the first thing I have my previous video where I show how to download Postgres SQL and PG Admin for link in the description, but otherwise, you would already have a master password. So, I will just log in. And right now we have this section to the left where you can see we have like a server group that contains your servers. I just have a PostgreSQL 13 server. It's just a standard server it made when I downloaded the program, but you can create new servers by right clicking in the area and create server group or server. But I will just be using the PostgreSQL server for now. It's fine. And it is all... I'm. Everything I'm going to be doing is going to be locally hosted, at least at the beginning. And you can see as well in the top that we're using 127.0.0.1, which is also local host. But how it works is set up as mentioned, we have a server group containing servers, containing like the databases, and of a specific database. So right now I just have one database, which is called Postgres. Let's actually create a new database. So I just right click create. And I can give it a name and the owner, which is me, Postgres. It's just, uh, I'm just going to call it database one. And what's also very interesting is you can actually take a look at SQL part directly. So this is actually the SQL that's called inside Postgres SQL to create this new database. We create a database with a given name, with a specific owner, some kind of encoding and a connection limit minus C one meaning there's no connection limit otherwise we can just save it and i now have a database one and you can as you can see there are quite a few things which at first is not too important we'll talk about some of them later in the series but mostly at the beginning it's all about schemes which contains our tables and how we actually write sql inside pg admin is by when we on a specific database you click on this icon which is called the query tool which will open kind of like a text editor area where we can write sql so in this area we are able to write a sql so an example of sql i just took an example from a task i did quite a few weeks ago so I would just create a table. So I first have the create table, customers, we have some attributes, some variable types, and we're going to discuss more about the tables in the next episode. However, if you would like to run a part of your SQL, you just mark it, and I would click run or execute refresh, which also called F5 if you want to just shortcut it. And I would run it and it would say create table and how fast it did it. And now, if we refresh our database, we will be able to see under tables, we now have a customer's table, which contains some columns. And we might add some constraints and stuff later, or triggers, but this is the basics of the PG admin. Stay on the database, and actually quite important regarding PG admin and Postgres is actually you, need, you can only write to one database at a time. So, for example, if I wanted to write something to my Postgres database, I would have to go click on it and then open a new query tool window. And as you can see here at the top, this one is writing to database one and this one is writing to Postgres. And a tip, at least what I do, this is when you're writing stuff in here, copy it and save it somewhere else because this is not the best. This is not really an editor like that. It's more tool to use when you're actually just writing SQL to your database or creating a database or doing basic information. But keep it somewhere else, just if in, in a notepad or something easily accessible. But this is basically how we use PG Admin, at least to begin with. We have the servers, the databases, we write some SQL and we run it. Pretty simple. And as mentioned in the next video, I will be going over tables and what all of this means because it might seem a bit confusing at first and how we're going to create tables and then later on we're going to be connecting them and then we're going to 
inserting information into the tables and then we're going to get information from our tables or from our database. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.